Hello, welcome to another video on R. In this video, we will learn how to plot bar plots with error bars in R. There are several packages like gplots, ggplot2, plottrix, hmisc that can help you do such plots. Those will require some more level of expertise and for you to add packages from R. Using the code we are going to provide below, you could do bar plots with error bars and antennas using the base version of R. So let us start by going to File and we go to New Script and as we saw before we go to Window and we tile it vertically so we have our script here and I'm going to paste some script I've copied from elsewhere. So let's look at what the script does. First we are going to have my.data which is going to read a table that is going to have our data in clipboard and we'll attach and then we'll create an object called min.warm and we are going to look for the min using the function t apply. We are going to use t apply equally by changing the arguments inside to look for different things like the standard deviation and the number of subjects per group as well as the standard error of the mean. So if you copy exactly this formula and apply is going to produce for you the means, standard deviation, the numbers per group as well as the standard error of the mean. So later on, having defined the objects up here, we could call them again so that they give us the values just so that we can see them. And here we define another object meets, which is convention in R, and we give it the value of bar plot. And you must have seen the bar plot function in previous videos. So we have the bar plot function here and it's going to take several arguments. The first one is the mean of the worm. Next, we are going to put the label for the X axis and we're going to put the label for the y-axis and if we go further we're going to put how long we want the y-axis to be so here we have the c and in brackets two figures and we saw before in creating vectors that c will mean concatenate or combine and here this is a minimum of y going to a certain maximum based on the data we have on the warm data if we look at it going from 15 going for our 12 we see that we have the highest number hovering around 55 so we could put our value here to be 60 and next we have another function the arrows which is going also to take several arguments it's going to take the meet object we've created up here and it's going to take the mean of the worm minus the standard error of the mean as well as meets again and the mean of the worm plus standard error of the mean and we have here code 3 which is defining the kind of arrow that will be created in this function and it's basically saying here that the arrow should be created so that it's having two heads and angle 90 means the heads should be flat and length is actually the length of the arrows that will be created. Next we want text which are the text that are going to be pasted onto the bar plots and here we basically define the arguments meets and we want to paste a certain n is equal to which is the number of the worms and that will appear on the graph. So let's go ahead now and evaluate this by opening our excel file and here we're going to copy the data which we've been using. We go control C and we go back to R and we put the cursor here and we can go run. And notice that when we go run, the cursor immediately goes down to the next code. So we can go again, run, 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 run. And now we have the last one. And because there's space here, we're going to have this prompt being empty, we could still go run. It doesn't affect anything. And now we have the cursor here. And if we go mean.warm, we now see that this object has created a matrix. So T apply basically created a matrix that holds the values for the mean. And if we go further, same for the uh, standard deviation as well as the standard error of the mean. And uh, so we basically see that the t apply function has created a matrix that is holding the results to the mean, the standard deviation, the number of worms, as well as the standard error of the mean. So we go further on to run. And right now we are at the level of mid and the bar plot function. If we go run, we have a bar plot here, which has the labels as we defined already in that function. And if we go further, we have arrows, we go run, and we're going to see that evaluated here. The errors have been put in there. And if we go now into text, and say run we now see that the text has been put inside so it's basically saying the number of subjects per group in every case is equal to 12. 
But do we really need bar plots? And do they really communicate the information we want to communicate? So basically what we see here is just a bare number. It's a mean hovering up there at the level of where the value is. And we're having the numbers inside which may add to some value. But in principle, this does not communicate to the audience we want what the data really were. So in the next video, we're going to look at some theory and look at state of the art on what journals accept nowadays for plots, especially we are going to see how we can use R to produce bar plots and box plots and overlay them with dot plots so that any person in the audience looking at the data could be able to have an idea what the original data were. This is now state of the art and has been going on as an argument in many top-notch journals. So we'll look into the theory in the next video and see how we can plot that in R. Thank you for coming by to watch our videos. Please give us a thumbs up and rate our videos below. Leave your comments and see you in the next video.